everybody, thank you so much for clicking my video to watch. So today's video, I am going to dig into this package that I received on Valentine's Day from Pixie. It has literally been calling my name ever since I got it and I've been wanting to play with them so bad. I just got back from work and I have the time now to sit down and play with these. I'm really excited. So this is what the package looks like. It comes with two eyeshadow palettes and a brush set and I will dig more into them once we get into the video. So I kind of want this to mainly be just a tutorial of me using the palettes and just coming up with a look to do but i will also give you guys my kind of first impressions as i go along and use them and before we get on to the video please don't forget to subscribe click that little bell beside the subscribe button that way you get notified every time i upload a new video also be sure to like this video if you enjoy it and if you'd like to know my thoughts on these palettes and to see the look i come up with then please just keep watching since i was just out i have my full face of makeup already on and that's fine because this just comes with eyeshadow palettes and brushes anyways so i'll just focus on my eyes i have a little bit of eyeshadow on right now but nothing that will get in the way of it so i just found the palettes on my website here so the palettes retail for $24 and they come with 12 shades in the palette so that's a really affordable price they're called their eye reflections shadow palette there is three different kinds of them and I received two in this package so the ones I received are reflex light and this is an all shimmer palette and here is the palette up close I'll just open it up for you too and here is all of the shades these are really pretty I am going to swatch a couple oh they're really creamy. They feel really nice. So watch this red one, this pink one, and then maybe this deep one right here. I'll just swatch them on the back of my hand. You guys should feel this right now. Okay, so these are beautiful shades. This pink one is really pretty. It kind of matches the top I'm wearing right now. And then the other one I have here is more on the cool tone side. This one is the Natural Beauty Palette. And this one has a mixture of shimmers and mattes in it. So that is the Natural Beauty up close. If I was going to buy a palette, I would get this one over the other one because I don't like to buy palettes that are all shimmery shades because then you can't really do your transition shade or anything like that. But if you like just solely wearing a shimmery shade on your lid, and that is your go-to then the shimmery palette will be a good option for you just because it has so many different shade varieties and then this one online is called mixed metals that is just the third palette then third product in this package i am so excited about their brushes and by the way this whole package is just presented so beautifully i was so excited when i got it so this is the brush case that it comes in it's really heavy duty and nice and when you open it these are the three brushes that sit in it and they each have little slots to hold them so i see a crease brush which is perfect they feel pretty nice they're not extremely soft but they're not stiff in any way this one looks like the crease brush this one looks like a little crease brush it's just on the stubbier side and this one looks like a little shader brush they feel really nice they feel promising they actually do have numbers on the back so shader brush is the eo1 the big crease brush is the eo2 and then the little crease brush is the eo3 i didn't even know that pixie had brushes so i'm not sure if these are new as well but they're really cute so i can't find the case and pack of brushes online or the brushes specifically but it looks like a normal brush like this on their website retails for around 12 dollars, and then their face brushes retail from 14 to 22 just depending on the brush i don't know what look i'm going to do but i'm going to dip into one of the palettes now so i'm going to go into the natural beauty palette first just because it has the matte shades in it i'm not typically into cool tones but we'll see how this goes i'm going to take this shade first i'm not sure how the shades go but just looking at the back and then looking at this shade I believe this one is called Rose Clay. And I'm gonna use the big fluffy crease brush. I'm gonna need a mirror because these palettes don't have mirrors. I'm just gonna grab that shade. They hardly have any kickback. I put my brush in there fairly aggressively. Okay, they have more if you do more aggressive. But like I hit that off and it just went everywhere and left nothing on my brush. Okay, I have a lot of gold on my lid, I forgot. I have the Tarte Rainforest, the C Volume 3 palette on my eyes because it's my everyday palette. I'll just kind of go over it, I guess. Oh, this is showing up a lot more pigmented than I thought it was, just seeing it on the brush. When you pick it up on the brush, it looks like there's nothing on it, especially when you tap off the excess. It seems like everything comes off, but clearly not. She's really pretty. 
and it is blending out easily as well. All right, I zoomed you guys in a little bit closer. You probably couldn't even see what I was doing before, but I'm just going to keep going now. I'm going to pick up this shade next, and I believe this shade would be called Deep Taupe if I'm looking at the back correctly. And I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'll try and just use the Pixi brushes. Work this more onto my outer part of my face. It's actually working out really well. I'm hardly using any pressure and a lot of pigmentation is coming off. I'm not sure which shimmery shade I'm going to use, but I'm thinking about just using a light one. Actually, I'm going to go into the other palette and use that pink that I swatched because it was really pretty. So I'm going into the Reflex Light Palette now, and I'm grabbing this pink shade in the palette. I believe it's called... I was definitely looking at the shades wrong because there's no way this is called Brilliant Bronze. I think it's the other way around so it would be called pink luster and i'm gonna grab that little shader brush i'm gonna try it without setting spray first and see how the color shows up on my lid it seems really creamy and pigmented i might not need a setting spray to build it up oh yeah this totally doesn't need a setting spray these are really pretty performing a lot better than i thought they would just because they're so affordable and usually I'm not that impressed by drugstore eyeshadows. Besides the CoverGirl palettes, those palettes are really good. I have the Chocoholic palette, the Sunsets palette, and then another colorful palette, and I love them all. The shades are really good. But other than that, I haven't found any that I really like, but this one is working out so well. I'm kind of carving out the crease a little bit without using a concealer to cut it. I'm just gonna use the shadow. It's a lot more soft that way. And then it looks a little bit more defined, but it's not too dramatic. Okay, now I'm going to grab this littler crease brush, the EO3, and I am going to pick up... I don't know what shade I'm going to pick up, actually, because this one seems a little bit too on the purpley side. I was going to go in that, with that one, but I don't know. I think I'll just go back in with this one I was using before and just try and deepen it up and build up the pigmentation more for my outer corner. So I'm just going to pick it up with the littler crease brush, and this brush is just a tiny bit more dense than the other one, so it might help put the product on more dramatically anyways yes definitely i'm just packing this on my outer corner trying not to really drag it up too far and then i'll just blend it out a little bit also going to take that shade onto my lower lash line just to even out the look i think i'll pick up this shade right here which is called chocolate brown i'm seeing a super purpley undertone i don't know if it's just my eyes but i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try and make a little smoked out liner on my upper lash line with it so i'm gonna pick it up with the shader brush i was using for the shimmery shade just grab it on the top like that and kind of place it right here i wonder if i can try and make a tiny bit of a wing with it not too dramatic but just kind of like I don't even know if that's noticeable. Drag that same shade a little bit on the outer part of my lower lash line just so I can connect this shade. Now for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to take this lighter pink shimmery shade and this one is called Petal. I'm going to grab it with the smaller crease brush and see how this works out. Just pop it onto my inner corners. These shadows are actually really impressive. This whole palette is only $24, which is super affordable. And they're performing so amazing. I'm put some of this on my brow bone as well. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it at that for the eyeshadow, just something super simple. And I'm excited because I actually picked up these, and these are the Ardell Wispies lashes. I have a feeling that I tried these before, but I think I tried them. I was super new at doing lashes, and I probably put them on way too wrong. I stepped out of my comfort zone. I didn't buy the 105 Glamour lashes like I always do. I bought the wispies and I'm gonna pop these on because I think they'll look really pretty as long as I put them on right it's because this look is so soft and these will kind of maybe flutter out I'm hoping okay guys well that is it for the video I really hope you guys enjoyed it I had so much fun trying these out because they impressed me more than I thought that they were going to I think $24 is such amazing affordable price for this palette because the shades just work so nicely obviously I don't know how they wear throughout the day so I can't comment on that just because this other one here the reflex palette is just all shimmer shades I wouldn't purchase this one specifically or i would also purchase an all matte palette because i like those as well as for the brushes i'm not sure if they sell the brushes with this case or if it was just part of the pr package i just couldn't find them maybe they're just in store not sure but maybe if these three had a price including the brush case and i can have more of an opinion on that 
But since I just found similar brushes like this for $12 on the website, I probably wouldn't purchase brushes for $12 a piece. But if they were in a set with a set price, then I would consider it. Yeah, those are my kind of first impression thoughts on the palettes and the brushes. So please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.